read, as you know, he started in the 50s, 55, I assume, and I came to the Montreal Canadiens in 66, 67, and obviously he didn't talk to me the first couple of years. <laughs> he, he never wanted to talk to a rookie, but uh, get to, you know, he became, you know, very close person to me. Very, you know, he was he was a friend and and uh, traveled with us. And uh, then when I became general manager, uh, I got him his Chivas Regal back on the press box. <laughs> but but he, he, there's so many stories about him, and 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 he, he was very well respected all around the league by the management and and, and coaches and. Uh, He's, he, he was a great person. He was good for the game. You know, in, in the 50, the reporters were traveling with the team and they were getting meal money and, and Montreal covered the expenses of all the reporters in those days. And and uh, and, uh, and for, for a month or two, and Toblik was not talking to Red Fisher and, and Toblik had all those envelopes that he was handling to the press and to the players as well you know were maybe six or seven bucks a day for meal money and and Toblik was having his press conference one day and he had all the reporters around him and Red would stay 10 15 feet away and listening what To was saying and and Toblik grabbed one envelope he says Red is that what you're waiting for and starting from that day, Red went back to the office. He says, "If you don't pay my own way, I won't travel with the team anymore." And that, that he's the guy that started that, and, and and all the papers and the reporters paid their own way after that. 